Shortcut for the barrel function is Ctrl plus B and then use your mouse wheel to add further segments. Execute your bevel with a left click. Today I want to talk about the bevel function in Blender 2.8 and what will be different in 2.9. But first we need to define what is a bevel. A bevel need to be applied, mostly, to corners and is adding further geometry to it. It is possible to edit shape and apply flat bevels or create smooth round shape for the corner. In Blender you have the option to apply a bevel by using the bevel modifier or run the bevel function in edit mode to a specific selection. I will introduce those two methods now. Select an edge in edit mode or a couple of connected edges and use one of the following methods. Option 1. Right click and select bevel edges. Option 2. Head to the object menu and select edge. Bevel edges. Option 3. Use the shortcut Ctrl plus B and immediately run the bevel function. When the function is enabled, then you see this by this dotted line which is connecting your selection and your mouse cursor. Move the mouse to rise and lower the bevel width. Basically you will get only one bevel segment, but you are able to rise the number of segments by scrolling your mouse wheel. Don't worry if you don't have a mouse wheel, because you can do this later as well. In my opinion the bevel function is for edge corners. But it is as well possible to use the bevel function for edges inside of a mesh. Then you will get those further edges. If you are happy with the shape of your bevel, then you just have to execute the function by doing a left click. If you want to adjust your bevel more precisely, then you can still modify it by the expanding the bevel window here now. The most important adjustments are offset, segments and profile. So far profile lets you manipulate your bevel banding. Should it be flat, use the value 0.25. Should it be curved outwardly, use any value over 0.25. Should it be curved inwardly, use the value under 0.25. Now switch to Blender 2.9, because the barrel function profile got an update and I want to show you this as a preview. First of all, the bevel menu of 2.9 is built up a little bit different than in Blender 2.8. Profile is called Profile Type now and let you choose between Super Ellipse and Custom. Currently Super Ellipse is enabled and everything behaves like I showed you before. But if you switch to Custom, then you will get a super creative bevel function. It is called Profile because you define the shape of the bevel from side view. Add further anchor points and modify your handles by using those tools here. You will need enough segments to get the correct shape with a complex profile curve. It is as well possible to use presets like those super cool sockets or stairs. My advice to custom profile types is to just use them for edge rings or specific edge flow directions. When I apply the function to this corner selection here, then I will get this very ugly result by the vertex where all edges are connected. I haven't found a solution to dissolve this automatically. Probably you have to do this by yourself. Using the bevel modifier always gives you the possibility to enable or disable the bevel. The modifier projects the bevel function to the whole object. Every single corner will get this bevel. For example, a cube gets nice round corners. In the modifier adjustments, you can choose width, type, amount and segments. Open the profile section, let you customize your bevel as I showed you before. But we will hit the same problem when you are using a customized bevel shape to several edges. Even the preset profile steps are looking weird on those corner top. I think custom profile types are only advisable for a specific part of edges and not for the whole mesh. What do you think about bevels in Blender? Did I miss anything important? 
Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like and or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers.